Hello everyone, my name is Don Balance and I'm the Director of Training here at NewTek. I'd like to welcome you to this demonstration of the NewTek TriCaster TCXD850 control surface. The best way to take control of your live productions. This control surface features total control over every attribute of your live switch. It allows you to adjust the virtual sets, it allows you to control all the media players, position overlays and more. Let's go ahead and start out by taking a look at the control surface itself. The entire 24 channel production switcher is laid out right on the control surface. There's a preview row and a program row allowing you to control the live action. There's a utility row right above that which can be configurable either as an effects row, as a source selection for your DSKs, or to control what's happening on the auxiliary video out. Just above that is a switcher area for setting up the switcher inside of each virtual input. You also have the ability to control the zoom when using that virtual input and set it up for snapping to zoom levels or animating the zoom over time. There are controls for controlling the transitional elements, all of the media players, and a full positioner for positioning overlays and picture-in-picture -picture effects. There are controls for starting and stopping the stream and the recording, as well as some qualifier keys. Now that we understand the layout of the control surface itself, let's go ahead and take a look at executing a switch. Any input can instantly be put on program out simply by hot punching it directly on program out. You also have the ability to bring things up on the preview bus and transition to them either by cutting to them, by fading to them, or by choosing any of the video transitions to transition from one input to another. Now when doing a transition, we use the transition area here in the control surface and the transition area works with four different video layers. Now the first video layer is the background layer between preview and program and we can of course just do a basic switch between those two layers. But the T-bar can be delegated for multiple uses at one time. For instance, the two downstream keys can also be delegated and with one T-bar or one auto button, we can do a transition between preview and program and activate both of the DSKs. The delegation of the T-bar can also be set up to work only with the DSKs and not change what's happening on the background. There are also independent controls for the DSKs available, allowing you to either take or fade or transition these different overlays independently. Now, the fourth video layer is our fade to black layer and when engaged, the fade to black layer will go ahead and remove everything from program out and it will also lower any audio that's being used during the production at that time. Now, when delegating different tasks to the T-bar, it's nice to make sure you know exactly what's going to happen or what you've told the switcher to do when you execute a transition. And this TriCaster comes along with look ahead preview that will show you exactly what's going to happen whenever you're about to execute a transition. When setting up the T-bar for a transition, again, you can set it up to transition the background elements or add the DSKs to that same transition. Now, if you're just transitioning background, you're only going to see whatever is on preview on your preview window because that's what you're transitioning to when you do a transition. But again, if you delegate the downstream keys to be added to that transition at the same time, now you're going to see those downstream keys in your preview monitor, even though they're not currently active and they're not being positioned. It's showing you exactly what you're going to see on program out when you execute this transition, giving you a true look ahead preview. Now, there is a utility bus just above the 24 input switcher on the control surface and this utility bus can be delegated for a few different uses. The utility row has four different functions and can be set up to function just like a traditional effects row allowing you to choose what input you're going to use as the background during a live key. The utility row can also be set up as your source selection for either of your DSKs. So you can use this to choose what input you want to use as the overlay for a specific downstream key. 
You also have the ability to choose auxiliary out and this will allow you to choose what you're sending out the video auxiliary output of the TriCaster during your live production. Now not only do you have access to the 24 channel production switcher from the control surface, but you also have access to the internal switcher available for each virtual input in the TriCaster. This makes setting up virtual inputs fast and easy right from the control surface. The switcher for setting up any virtual input in the TriCaster is located right here on the control surface and you can decide what virtual input you want to work on by using your virtual input delegate buttons. So once you've got your virtual input selected you can easily change out the talent that's behind the desk. You can easily change out what's happening on the on-screen monitor by using input B and you also have an overlay selection here which will control the overlay that is attached to that virtual input. You can select any source as your overlay. We'll go ahead and take that overlay live. That overlay will only appear on that virtual input. It won't appear on any other input in the TriCaster, virtual or otherwise. From the control surface, you also have the ability to control the live zoom that's happening during your virtual set production. The controls for the zoom during a live set production are located here on the control surface. And you have the ability to snap to four different levels of zoom, as well as turning on animate zoom to have a smooth animated zoom over time during your live production. Now, the rate at which this animated zoom happens can be controlled by using your zoom rate control as well. This control surface also features a positioner section that has a three-axis joystick for positioning graphics and picture-in-picture, -picture, but can also be used for other functions. Using the joystick is easy for scaling and positioning any input in the TriCaster. You can also use this joystick to rotate any input on any axis or it can be used to crop a portion of an input out quickly and easily. The same technique can be used for scaling and positioning graphics or picture in picture. The joystick in the positioner area can be set up as a virtual zoom control for the camera inside of the virtual set, allowing you to zoom in and zoom out manually using the joystick as the zoom control. The joystick can also be set up to be used as a shuttle for the DDR and it can now be moved to the left and the right to be able to shuttle through video clips to cue them up to appropriate spots, both forward and backward. This control surface also has an area for working with all of the media players that are available in the TriCaster. There are five basic media players available in the TriCaster, and these are the two DDRs, the stills player, the titles player, and the sound player. You can access all five of the media players directly from the control surface and modify them. There are transport controls for queuing up the media player to the media that you want to play back, controls for playing and stopping the playback, as well as the ability to turn on and off your playback variables such as loop, single play, and autoplay. There are also buttons for advancing and going back to the previous presets, allowing you to instantly change out the media you have access to. The TriCaster also has the ability not only to stream your live productions live, but also to record them direct to disc back to the TriCaster system themselves. On the control surface, there is a record area allowing you to start and stop the recording process, start and stop the streaming process, as well as grab images directly from program out as stills. There are also a few qualifier keys on the control surface allowing you to change out some of the functionality of a few of the buttons. There are shift, control, and alt buttons directly on the control surface and for instance by holding down the control key the preview bus now displays any of the inputs that are currently using LiveMat to key the talent. Not only does it display the inputs that are using LiveMat, but LiveMat can be turned on and off by using the buttons on the preview bus while holding down the control key. As you can see, the feature set of this new control surface will allow you to take control of your live productions. 
I know as soon as you see one, you're going to want one. So to schedule an up-close and personal demo with a NewTek Elite partner or authorized reseller, please visit NewTek.com. I'm Don Balance. Thanks for watching.